<laughs> anyway, okay, 629. Right. Yeah, we're going to go down to uh, do our coffee with segment here, and uh, we are now. Where are we set up here? Uh, we're about to find out. But we're talking with. Right. Go ahead. Your French. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Hi, Don and Bob. How are you doing? This okay. is the Free Advice Man. Your name is Jean Pierre. Jean Pierre Fagnot, the original New York City Free Advice Man, right here in Baltimore for the last two years. Okay, and you're outside Louis Bookstore as we uh, speak. Outside Louis Bookstore Cafe, right here at 518 North Charles Street. Wonderful location. Okay, I promised Blade I would ask you this question first. Do you know where we can get one of those large foam rubber tomahawks that they <laughs> use for the Atlanta Braves? I'm not sure about what you asked about a long something for the Atlanta Braves. So a, a large foam rubber tomahawk that the Atlanta Braves fans use to chop their opponents. You know where I can get one? Oh, the big tomahawks. Where yeah. can you get one? Yeah. Well, I would assume you have to go to one of those games and you have to, like, bribe under the table or something. Right? Ah. Uh-oh. That's, that's free advice for you. <laughs> Are you. Can you hear us fine? Yeah, I can hear you now. It's just that we have a lot of traffic on this corner I, I can, here in the I can, hear, I can hear the traffic. Yeah. All right, well, look, Jean-Pierre says here you came from New York, originally from Washington, D.C. You've been around a lot of places. I mean, what's the most commonly sought-after advice that people come and ask you about? Well, it's hard to say, but to be simple about it, mostly it relates to relationships, love affairs, sexual problems, etc. Ooh. I can't be too explicit about it. Oh, uh, please don't. <laughs> I hope not. All right, now, how do you find Baltimore to be in comparison to these other places in terms of things people ask you about now? Well, I would have to say there's not too much of a difference throughout the East Coast. I've done it in D.C., in New York, in Baltimore, a few other locations throughout the East Coast. I find Baltimore to be quite relaxed and relatively laid back. I also find a lot of disparity. Uh, it seems to me that Baltimore, there's a lot of wealth, but there's also a lot of poverty. But mm. I think it's a great city, and I think it's, it's going to get better eventually. How does one who gives free advice make a living? Mm. Well, that's a good question. I don't even know myself. <laughs> no, actually, to, to be quite simple about it, I have to do a menial job here and there. Sometimes I do telemarketing, raising funds for Vietnam veterans, uh, sometimes for Maryland Special Olympics, things like that. And right now, I'm, I'm hoping to sell an educational package for three to six-year-olds door-to-door. So that's something I'm interested in doing. Okay, so you do work for a living. Yes, you have to. I mean, let's be honest about it. If you want to give good advice, you better not ask money for it. <laughs> How interesting. <laughs> All right, now you're set up in front of Louis Bookstore. Is that where people, uh, where you commonly are? I mean, we also noted from the article we saw in the uh, city paper that you Yeah, I have a copy right here, the article in the city paper. In the, yeah. in July 19th. Bob, Bob Town Beat. Bob yeah. Town Beat, yeah. Yeah, that's, this is the place I normally set up because it's the safest location in town. Of course, any location in public is not necessarily, let's say, quote-unquote safe. But at least the nice thing about it is the quality of the people. Occasionally I get some people who are not that nice, but I manage to somehow confirm to them that the universe is infinite and that that God loves them. Yeah, I, I need some advice here. All right. I hear my phone ringing in the background. How can I convince people not to call me when I'm on the air because, of course, I can't go back and pick up my phone. So how do I convince people of Sounds that? Sounds like something I did. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I would have to say the nicest thing is to have a little code system, one of those little special boxes that you can buy and tell them, you know, to leave a message. And, and you'll get right back to them as soon as well, possible. The voicemail does that, but they, they still ring me during the program. I really? can't possibly. Well then, well, then maybe you should simply state that anybody who does that, you're never going to talk to ever again. Okay. Woo. There you got it, folks. <laughs> it's better for you to do it than me. <laughs> any good questions uh, from anybody in the audience there or anything? Uh, any crew members have it? Excuse me? Any advice for Clarence Thomas? Any advice for Clarence Thomas Oh, today? you bet I have some advice. I would have to say that unfortunately... I've seen him double back on his words too often, and I think a man who's going to be, regardless of race or sex or whatever, a man who's going to be in such a high position should be very careful not to contradict himself, especially when he's on the tube. Okay, now everybody, uh, everybody's looking for a job these days. Would you recommend people go around giving free advice? No, this is, again, not a job. This is a vocation. This is something you do for fulfillment. Listen, either this is fulfilling me or I'm deceiving myself. One of the two. Do you feel, do you feel fulfilled at this moment? Uh, yeah, I guess so, I must admit, uh, this is the fifth time, sixth time, sorry, I've been on television, uh, local news program, I've been in New York City with Bill Butel, the head of anchor of Eyewitness News, your affiliate there, and I must say, it's a lot of fun to get the publicity that tells people out there that if you've got a problem, you don't necessarily have to run like a chicken up and down the block looking for somebody to talk to. There's the free advice man right here at Louis Bookstore Cafe. Right. Yeah, I want to make sure you're fulfilled because we got to go now. we got something free for you, I think. Okay, and i got something for you, too. A free advice sign for both of you guys, Bob hey. and Don. Great. Oh, thank and you. by the way, one more thing. This is me when I was a little kid, so you get what, get my wisdom came from that time when okay. I was little. Okay. Do we have something free for Jean-Pierre? There you go. 
What's the weather? Oh, I'll get it. If you ever make enough money to buy a car, that'll fit in the windshield. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm about to get one next year because I'm getting my book published next year. It's called The Greatest Book of Quotes I Ever Wrote. Look for it in the bookstores. The Greatest Book of Quotes I Ever Wrote. Great okay. book. Great quotes. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Also be, also be a chapter in how to get on TV for no reason at all. <laughs> He's a good guy. Yeah, entertaining. Talks a little loud, but there you go. <laughs> yeah, and it is Friday. It is 6.34. There's the address for coffee with, of course. Right. That's how he got in touch with us. Mm -hmm. Actually, he looked up the phone number, but... <laughs> okay, free advice. I can't wait to get that signed. I'm going to hang that outside my office. Yeah. Okay, still to come on this morning in the news.